Dear brothers and sisters, it's a pleasure to be with you again. And today, I would like to invite you to open your Bible in the verse of Psalm 115, verse 1. This is our call to worship. Please open your Bibles in Psalm 115, verse 1. I will be using the version ESV. So let's read the Word of God. Psalm 115, verse 1. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory for the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness. This is the word of the Lord. Now, let's sing the song, There is a Redeemer, Redentor Divino. There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. Thank you, O my Father, for giving us your Son. And blessing to have a, a redeemer, right? And what a blessing to be able to call Jesus King and Lord. So it's based on this, relying upon Jesus Christ, that I would like to invite you to join me in prayer and confess our sins to the Lord. Let's pray. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thank you for this precious day. Thank you for your holy day. This day that even in this situation of pandemic, we can gather through the internet and we can come to you humbly through our mediator, through our redeemer, Jesus Christ, and confess our sins to you, Lord. We would like to, to bring to you humbly 
our sins, things that are, we are doing in our, in our lives, and that is not rending glory to your name, we'd like to ask you forgiveness. Lord, during this situation in, in our lives, we face many problems. And many times, Lord, we fail. And we fail to rend glory to your name and to act like Christians. We'd like to ask your forgiveness and we'd like you to be merciful with us and help us to be more faithful servants to you. Help us to be like Christ, Lord, the perfect one. Help us to rend glory to your name in every single action that we have during our day. We are sinners and we'll, we'll keep committing sin because this is part of us. But Lord, we confess to you that we are ashamed of our sins and that we don't want to keep sinning, but we want to improve in sanctification. Help us and sanctify us. Listen to your servants that are praying right now to you and pleading to you to be merciful with us. We confess our sins to you, Lord, knowing that you listen to our prayers because you look to us through the lens of the blood of the Holy One of Jesus Christ. And we trust in him because our sins were forgiven. In Jesus Christ, we come to you, Lord. Amen. And the Bible says that who confessed Jesus Christ as Lord and King has your sins forgiven. So we need to be assured that we have our sins forgiven. I'd like to invite you to join us to the next song that is To Know Your Name. Uh, join us to praise the Lord in this song. Precious blood of Jesus Christ redeems, forgiven I'm alive, restore, set free. Your majesty resides inside of me, forever I believe, forever I believe. I rested by your truth and righteousness. Your grace has overwhelmed my brokenness. Convicted by your spirit, led by your word, your love will never fail. Your love will never fail. Yes, I know you gave the word your only son for us to know your name. To live within the Savior's love and He took my place Knowing He'd be crucified and You love, You love the people I'm the servant The precious blood of Jesus Christ redeems Forgiven, I'm alive, restore, set free. Arrested by your truth and righteousness, your great has overwhelmed my brokenness. Convicted by your spirit, led by your word, your love will never fail. Your love will I know you gave the word your only son for us to know your name to live within the Savior's love and he took my place knowing he'd be crucified and you love you love a people and the servant because I know you gave the word your only son for us to know your name to live within the savior's love and it took my place knowing he'd be crucified and you love you love a people and
a servant It's time to read the Old Testament and uh, I would like to ask you to keep in mind this passage that we read in the Old Testament when you hear the preaching of Pastor William because these two passages are related to itself. So let's read the Old Testament. I would like to invite you to open your Bibles uh, on Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1 to 14. Uh, again, I will be using the ESV version. So let's read the Word of God. Ezekiel 37, verse 1 to 14. The hand of the, of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. And he led me around among them. And behold, there were very many of the surface of the valley. And behold, there were very dry, very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you, you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord." So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a sound, and behold, a re re retrailing, and the bones came together, bone to its bones, bone to its bone. And it looked, and behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and he breathed, and the breath, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are in the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are indeed cut, cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord, and when I open your graves and raise you from the gra your graves, O my people, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you in my own land, then you shall know that I am, I am the Lord, and I have spoken, and I will do it, declares the Lord. That's the Old Testament reading. I would like you to come with me now and read the catechism question. Cate uh, question 38. I will be reading in English and Brother Isaac will be reading in Spanish. So let's read the catechism. Question 38. What benefits do believe believers receive from Christ at the resurrection? Answer. At the resurrection, believers being raised up in glory shall be openly acknowledged and acquitted in the day of judgment and made perfectly blessed in the full enjoying of God to all eternity. Pregunta 38 del Catecismo Menor. ¿Qué beneficios reciben de Cristo los creyentes después de la resurrección? Todos juntos, los creyentes levantándose en gloria en la resurrección serán públicamente reconocidos y absueltos en el día del juicio 
y entrarán en una perfecta bienaventuranza, en el pleno gozo de Dios por toda la eternidad. Now you can see that behind me there is a QR code that you can just scan and uh, so you can give your tithe and offerings to the church. So now it's time to tithe and offering. So I would like to invite you, uh, while you're doing this, to uh, join us in, uh, with this song in worship to the Lord. Al, al Dios de Abraham. Let's pray now. Almighty God, once again we come to you humbly, Lord. Humbly to ask your help in our lives, in your mercy upon our lives. Lord, we would like to, first of all, hand glory to your name because you are almighty, because you saved us. You are the King of kings the king of your people, people of Israel, your church. We'd like to praise your name for your sacrifice on that cross because your steadfast love, because of such a great love that we're able to give you his own son, your own son to save us, Lord. Lord, we don't deserve that, but you did and you saved us. In Jesus Christ, we render glory to your name because you deserve it. You are the Almighty, and you send the Chosen One, the only one, the Lord Jesus Christ, to bear our sins and pay for our sins and guilt. Thank you, Lord, for this. Thank you for your love that many times in our lives we don't see that because we are blinded by our own sins and by the circumstances of life. So we'd like today to recognize that you are almighty and 
love us so much. Lord, we would like to come to you humbly also to ask you and plea on your feet uh, upon the health of our brothers and sisters in the church. Uh, some brothers and sisters are facing health problems right now, and we'd like to ask your mercy upon them, uh, that your almighty hand could come upon them to bless them and heal them or help them to deal with these situations that they are facing right now. I'd like to ask you upon uh, Brother Isaac to help him with this situation in his lungs, that he may be healed upon this and don't see this discomfort anymore. I'd like to ask him, you about Pastor William that is in the process of moving, that you may bless him during this this time that he may be able to take care of everything. We'd like to ask you upon the United States that are, is facing now so many problems with these, those riots that are happening in the cities. Um, have mercy upon this land, upon this country. Uh, bless this country, Lord, and that your word may be spread upon the, among them that are causing the riots and that they may be changed by you. Lord, we also would like to ask your mercy and blessings upon this land of South Carolina that is facing right now an increasing number of uh, COVID-19 cases. Uh, help us in this land to deal with this problem. Bless your church and that we may not God, get this disease. Uh, bless us in this way, Lord. But if we get the disease, that we may be comforted and blessed by you to face the situation, rendering glory to your name, Lord. Help us in many, many brothers and sisters that are facing right now difficult situations, frustrations in life, but bring your comfort, bring your everlasting peace to their hearts. Just you, Lord, can provide this kind of peace to the heart of men in a way that they will, they will be comforted in the middle of the problem, in the eye of the hurricane in their lives. So help them to face their problems in a way that people may look to them and to us and may notice that we serve the King of Kings, the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to deal with the next this week that is approaching, uh, that we may fulfill the things that we need to do in our lives in a way to render glory to your name, that this church may more and more get to know each other and get to know you more, and we may reflect the gospel and the love of the gospel to the people that surround us, and that your name may be praised among these people, this community that is around us. Lord, you are the guard of Zion, as the psalm says, and we, we know that you watch our steps, every single step. So we trust you, and it's trusting you that we come to you humbly to ask you all those, these things. Uh, have mercy upon us, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask you, amen. Brothers, I would like you to invite you to join us in the Lord's Prayer now, the prayer that our Lord taught us. So let's, let's read the Lord's Prayer. I will be reading in English, and uh, Brother Isaac will be reading in Spanish. So join me now in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Oremos al Señor, Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre, venga tu reino, 
Hágase tu voluntad como en el cielo, así también en la tierra. El pan nuestro de cada día, danoslo hoy. Y perdónanos nuestras deudas, como también nosotros perdonamos a nuestros deudores. Y no nos metas en tentación, mas líbranos del mal, porque tuyo es el reino y el poder y la gloria por todos los siglos. Amén. Let's sing the next song and praise the Lord. Men of faith, rise up and sing of the great and glorious King. You are strong when you feel weak, in your brokenness complete. Shout to the north and the south, sing to the east and the west, Jesus is saved. Before you go to, to receive the code now to join us in, uh, in the sermon, I'd like to uh, bring to you two announcements. First one is that we are having our regular uh, prayer meetings on Thursdays at 7 uh, p.m., and I would like to encourage you in, to join us in prayer meeting. The second announcement is that we are having our regular worship uh, at the men's, behind the men's, there is a place called the deck, so we are having there, and that we're going to have communion on the 5th of July. So I would like to encourage you and invite you to join us uh, in worship there on the 5th of July to have communion as a church, as a body of Christ. Now you can see behind me there is a QR code, and you can just scan that, and you can go directly to the sermon. I'd like to invite you to join the sermon, and I'll wish you a blessed week, and may the Lord bless you in everything.